All right, I'm Nick. Now, every week I get a bunch of questions about kayaks and Old Town kayaks and other kayaks and kayaks from all over the country, right? I do my best to answer all of them. Sometimes I get a little too busy and I slip up. Other times I'm on top of my game. Uh, Peter sent me an email. I didn't get back to his question, but he asked again. So I'm going to get to it today. It's a super simple question about how you tighten your cables on your rudder and your steering handle so there's no slop in the steering. Before we get there, we're going to go over another giveaway. The goal is to give things away to you guys who watch the video. So we're going to give away a rudder. Obviously, you can see it has some scratches on it in the powder coat, which was completely my fault. I drug it across the concrete when I picked it up. It uh, shouldn't have happened, but it did. So we're going to give this one away. Watch to the end of the video. I'll give you some details. You guys know it's simple. Just comment below. Um, outside of that, finally got some sweet shirts right here. These things are sweet. Got a kayak on it, obviously. Um, they are on the website. There's a link below. 15 to 20 bucks each, depending on the size. And they drop ship to you, so you won't get a thank you card handwritten by me or a sticker, but you will get them. Now, that's that. Get that out of the way. I appreciate you guys watching all the videos and buying our merchandise. It's greatly appreciated. It helps us make more videos. Peter wants to know how to tighten his steering down. Now, Peter has a 2020, uh, so he has a plastic rudder like the one in the video with the same turnbuckle system here. Obviously, these are Old Town kayaks. This is all based on the new design. It is super simple. This turnbuckle system makes your life easy. As you can see in this video, the cables are a little bit loose. Now, over time, the cables will loosen up. That's because you are stretching them, right? They stretch, you turn, whatever. They've been there for a while. And all you do is take it and you tighten that turnbuckle down. It is super simple, but you don't want to make it too tight. If you make it too tight, then you will have a binding issue. And I've had multiple people who live here locally come over to the house where they have tightened those down and then the sun came out and the kayak expands, right? So the kayak will curl up when it's cold and then it will lay flatter when it's hot. When it does that, it expands. When that happens, it actually tightens the steering cables and it'll cause a binding issue. It'll be real hard to turn that rudder. If you're having that problem, you need to loosen those turnbuckles and get a little bit more slop. You guys could see how much slop that I had left in those in that video. And in this video, you can see how responsive the rudder is. I'm up there, I'm just touching the steering knob, I'm just turning left and right real, real small. And you can see there's no play in that. So it doesn't have to be completely taut and cause all kinds of problems. Just get it so there's no slop in there and you'll be good to go. A little bit, a little bit of wiggle room, not too much, not too little, and you won't have any problems. If you guys are still having steering issues, you can look into some videos we did on the bolt. The bolt takes off, takes out the need for the tension knob and you can adjust the tension in the rear. Makes a big difference. We also have that metal rudder that helps out a ton when it goes to cutting through heavy current. It's not for everyone, but if you do fish in heavy current, it will help you out. And we have videos and I'll put links above and links below so you guys can see those. And that's that. If you're still watching and you are interested in winning the scratched up rudder, which I will ship to you for free, then leave a comment. Tell me, tell me what kind of kayak you have and where your favorite place to fish is. That's that. Nothing to it. Makes you feel dangerous, right? Just kidding. All right. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. If you do, send me an email at nickatnavarkayakfishing.com or drop a link. Oh, drop a comment. Drop a comment. Thanks for watching.